waiting. Phone message waiting. Phone message wait. Phone message waiting. Phone message waiting. Phone message waiting. This message is for Mr. Tex Murphy. Storm clouds are brewing. Are you with white Russians or against us? A white guard member is close. Prove your loyalty and we will reveal the truth. What the heck was that? There must be another Tex Murphy in the phone book. As I ring the bell, I expect Nilo, but another familiar face pops up from behind the counter. It's Clint. Looks like he's dabbled in some home plastic surgery to cover his empty eye socket. It's amazing what you can do with a tire patch, spray paint, and crazy glue. Ah, Mr. Murphy, will you be needing some housekeeping done? I can't remember the last time we saw you around here. Yeah, me neither. Don't know if you heard, but uh, I had a little blackout. I used to get brownouts. Louis' chocolate pie damn near put me in a coma every time. So, what are you doing behind the desk? Looking for Nilo's complimentary chocolates? You mean the ones you used to leave on the pillow, right? <laughs> Those weren't chocolates, my friend. Man, I hope you didn't eat them. No. <laughs> Nilo, man, I haven't heard that name in years. Not since I bought this place from him. The city was going to condemn it, but Nilo didn't feel like fixing it up, so he sold it real cheap. Where did Nilo end up? You mean Nelly? He got a sex change. Yeah, I don't know. He tried to pass himself off as his long-lost twin sister for a while, but that didn't fly. Well, you've come a long way, Clint. From living in a dumpster to owning your own dump. But on the bright side, we've exterminated most of the roaches and reinforced the foundation after the big quake last year and finally got real fire extinguishers so no more painted on safety features. We're up to a three-star cubic zirconia rating in the Mutant Leisure blog spot now. Well, with such deluxe accommodations, I'm surprised I'd stay anywhere else. Do you know where I stay when I'm not here? Nope. You pay me well to keep an extra eye on your apartment and my nose out of your business. So I'm not behind on my rent? I guess you get amnesia more often. You're paid through the end of the year, just like every year. You're hardly ever here these days, but hey, let me get my nose out of your business. That sounded disgusting. Let's change the subject. What can I do for you? You keep being my best tenant, and I'll be your biggest fan. Deal? <laughs> the cops came by to ask me about that, but I wasn't here at the time. This may not be much, but it's mine, and I love it. Just get the holes patched before you move out, or I will keep your security deposit. Nice guy, but he's got some screws loose. Dumbest name ever for a shop. Look, I know I used to joke with you about Chelsea being in love with me, but that was just my jealousy talking. That's Louie's niece, right? Tall, brunette. Ugh. I've got to steer clear of his diner. Too many chocolate memories. Look, I've had my own problems, as you know. I was in a kind of a dark place seven years ago. Dark, bitter, sometimes nuts, raisins, but God help me, marshmallows. Nice girl for circuits and chips. We don't need to talk about that, do we? That was a real tragedy. Maldonado was spying on you. Are you sure it was you? I can't help you with that. I can barely work a toaster. 
Maldonado, nothing but trouble. I steer clear of that hombre. Me? I'm just living the dream. One chocolate free day at a time. Fat chance of that happening. Do you know what kind of creeps live in this place? Frodo has a ring that can make him invisible. Rumor is Zach Williams, owner of the electronics shop, is tied to organized crime. Well, we've had our problems in the past. For example, the last time I was here, he shot my credit card into a million pieces. I'm hoping he's in a little better humor today and doesn't blow my brains out, or even worse. Okay, I don't want any trouble. Well, just so I'm clear, what kind of trouble are you not wanting? Everyone knows what happens to people who get on your bad side. Only one reason you ever come in here, and it ain't to buy anything. You know all our stuff is junk. Is that the new electronic shop slogan? I mean, it's no wonder you're not getting any new business. Why are you busting my chops? You know what kind of business we're running here. I just want to know what's going on upstairs. Look, the guys upstairs don't want any trouble either. They said you can have whatever you want at cost. You can even put it on credit. Then I'll just tear up the bill. Oh, I'm not talking about your bosses. I'm talking about the guy upstairs, the uh, dead one. Look, I know how much you hated Maldonado, and I probably shouldn't have let him use the second floor. But he was paying cash, and he kept a low profile. So I thought it was all good. I didn't know what he was doing up there, and I didn't want to know. Well, let's see what kind of useful information I can get out of you before I try jogging your memory. You the man, okay? We good? Look, I told the cops I wasn't here, which is technically true. I just parked out back when I heard the gunshots. So I just started the engine right back up and got the hell out. You live there, so I'm not gonna say a thing about it. That place opened up a couple of months ago. Doesn't look like my kind of joint. I do love Louie's cooking. Just don't ask what's in it and you'll be fine. All I know is, you ain't the same guy that came slinking in here seven years ago. Sorry to hear about that. Is that what turned you into Mr. Badass? I think he's the one who came by to check in on Maldonado. Must have been a client. Don't know anything else about him. I saw him bringing some cameras, so he must have been recording the surveillance. But what if he had got confiscated by the cops? I sell items to customers, not purchase them. Sure, Maldonado was a creep, but his money spent just the same. He said he needed to do a stake out of the Ritz. Didn't mention any specific names. Didn't sound like a big deal, and he was offering a good chunk of change. That guy's a go-getter. Why don't you get him to answer these questions? Let's just leave me out of this, okay? He's happy to help out my best tenant. That guy's all mobbed up, so I keep my distance. <laughs> 